Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my May favorites and fails. No fails this month, which is awesome. And it's actually probably gonna be the shortest favorites video I've ever had. I was using all the things that I was using the previous month, just a few extras, mostly lip. Honestly, if you want lip products or random things, <laughs> this video is super random. And I did film this makeup look. It's either going to be up before or after this video. I'm thinking. It might be up after just because I want to get a video up the day that you're not seeing this, but on the Thursday. If and when it is up, I will link it for you guys. And if it's not up yet, it's coming on Sunday. But I'm sure most of you can guess what this look is from anyways. We're going to jump into our May favorites. I do have a book to mention. Finally got back into reading. Tons of random stuff, some amazing makeup. So if you love monthly favorites, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I cannot wait to get back and doing these. Every single month, I always look forward to going over my favorite things, beauty books and lifestyle. You guys know these videos have become super random. So we got a lot of great things. So let's jump into this video. I'm going to start off with lips because that's what I have the bulk of stuff here. The first lip product I'm going to talk about is one that I recently got back into and I forgot how much I love this color. It's the Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. And this has a plumping sensation to it. Very milky in color, super light. It will lighten anything you put this on. And you guys know I love a super nude lip. So this is just really pretty to give you that fullness to your lips. It has a pink, really milky pink quality to it. And it does have that plumping. So it gives you super full lips. I love the Buxom lip glosses. So I have been getting back into this. Even some of you were like, I forgot how good White Russian looks. And yeah, I'm back into that too. I recently purchased this Huda Beauty lipstick. It's been on my loves list for quite some time and I just kept putting it off. But initially I heard about this color from the McKnight Twins who I absolutely love their recommendation. So ended up finally picking this up in Staycation. And it's the most beautiful creamy matte formula for a lipstick. You have to feel this to understand. It is such a beautiful matte. And this is the perfect nude for when I do have a little bit of tan going on. So I've been really loving this right now. And it's gonna be perfect for going into summer because I will have some color for summer. So if you're a similar skin tone to me and you're looking for a really beautiful nude, Staycation is it has that matte formula that's not drying because it has a creaminess to it that really works for this formula. So I wanna pick up more colors in this. I fell in love with the formula. It is so, so good. And then the last lipstick I wanted to talk about is from Revlon. It says it's new on the bottom, but I don't know how new this is. It is a cream lipstick from their super lustrous lipstick line, which I wanna do a whole lip swatch TikTok with that. So if you're not following me on TikTok, I'm gonna be swatching all the really popular Revlon lipsticks that have been out over the years. I bought a ton of them. So this is one that I just happened to see that wasn't a part of that video initially. I just really like the color. And it is called Bear It All. It is a cream, as I said, and just a gorgeous, also nude shade. <laughs> so you guys know the kind of lipsticks that I love, but if you're looking for a great affordable one from the drugstore, Revlon Bear It All. These were around five or six dollars on sale at Walmart. So I picked up a ton of lipsticks when I was there. So it was the month of the lip product. I swear like so many that I have just been absolutely loving. And then also when I was at the drugstore, I found this mascara. And initially I went to pick up my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara, which I use on my lower lashes. And then I didn't see that there. So I ordered this online but I saw this one and it's their Lash Accelerator Endless, which looks like this. So this is a great one for me to wear on my upper lashes because it has that growth complex. So I like to wear something like this on an everyday where I really just wanna throw on something and go, or a mascara that I can wear under a pair of lashes. It's the perfect one for that because it's giving me that nourishment to my lashes. So it's not my preferred, brush since it's one of those plasticky ones. However, it's a great everyday mascara and if you're looking for things to hydrate your lashes like I am, I love the ones from Rimmel because it does have that growth property in it. And I do find it really works, especially when I use this one consistently on my lower lash line. So either or, I couldn't find this one, which is a great dupe for the MAC Giga Black if you have not seen that before. So it has one of those thinner brushes and it's not plastic. So 
My preference would still be this one because I could use it on upper and lower, but this was a nice little find for me if you like the same sort of things as I do. So really happy with these mascaras. And then this blush from one size. I wasn't gonna pick this up, <laughs> honestly. Like this color online didn't look appealing to me, but I saw Patrick Starr use this in two of his videos. Every time he put this on, before I even knew what color it was, I wanted it. I'm like, what is on the cheeks? And it was this blush every single time. I knew it was gonna be a blush that I absolutely love. So this is the color Very That. And it didn't look like much, but this tone right here, for whatever reason on my complexion and on the ones that I saw it on, like every complexion, it is the most beautiful everyday color. Like this would be the color that I would go for if I was getting married tomorrow, like perfect bridal shade, everyday shade. Can punch it up with this middle matte color or add some sheen with this shade right here. It's just stunning. Perfect little trio right here. I love the formulation of all the products in here, but especially that cream in this palette. I can't get enough, honestly, so, so good. So I had to mention that. I really love the other blush trio that I have from One Size as well, but that is just my favorite color. Then during the Sephora sale, my best friend asked me to pick up some products for her that she wanted to try, and she likes Glow Recipe like me, and I had never tried this product before, so I asked her if I could try it in her order when it came, and she let me. So this is the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. I now have it for myself as well because I cannot tell you how good this smells. You know me and smell. This smells like my childhood, like bubble tape. Oh, like the container of it. It smells so good. I look forward to taking off my makeup every night. This is the best smelling product I've ever smelled. I cannot even begin to tell you how amazing this is for smell, like rubbing this all over your face at night. I never want the cleansing process to end with this and it's super effective too. I'm not sure why I hadn't picked up this prior considering my love for Glow Recipe, but this is gonna be forever in the rotation, it replaces any sort of balm cleanser for me. You guys know I love a lot. That's how much this smell and formula has sold me. It is that good. I am in love with this. Number one product this month by far. Then for Tanner, I wanted to mention one that I always go back to, and I know I've mentioned this before on my channel, but I really wanted to mention it now because I'm almost done this one, and it's from Bondi Sands. It is their liquid gold self-tanning dry oil, and this is fantastic if you have really dry skin. So this is a tanner that I use mostly in the winter, but it's nice if you want a natural glow to the skin. The only downside of this is it doesn't have a color guard. If you're spraying it on your body, you're not gonna know exactly where it goes. I personally don't have an issue with that because I know where I'm placing. I always put enough on so that I'm saturated and tan. However, I did get my husband to apply this to me the one night because I had trouble bending over because of my back, you guys know issues. Anyways, did not work out <laughs> because he missed a ton of spots. So you have to apply enough to know where it goes, but I personally don't have an issue, but if you're a beginner, you probably will have an issue with it. So just make sure you're applying enough on a mitt and all over your body. But this gives you the nicest, most natural hydrated tan. It also is the best fading one because it's an oil, it's not a mousse or anything like that that I find really dehydrates the skin. If you're anything like me, no matter what, it's gonna dehydrate your skin. For this one specifically, you could skip moisturizing your body and you're not gonna get a patchy tan. So that's why I really like it because once you get a hang of applying it, it really is the best looking self tanner in my opinion. And you can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart online only because in store they didn't have it for me, but that is where you can get it if you're in Canada or sometimes on Amazon. And I would get these on Boohoo and someplace else when they have sales. I try and always pick up my tanner during a sale. I don't like paying full price for tan. I just stock up during a sale. And now for some random stuff, I wanted to mention my hair extensions that I picked up. I purchased these myself. I know a bunch of people are sponsored, but I purchased these myself. They're from Luxie, and these are the seamless hair extensions, and they're the chocolate brown balayage ones, which match my hair tone literally perfectly. Couldn't get a better match if, honestly, I dyed these myself. <laughs> like, that's how good of a match they are. 
to my hair. They are honestly the nicest extensions I've ever used, best match. I love that I opted for the seamless ones, which I've never had before, but they really do lay nicely on your head and you can't really notice them. So I really love the seamless style. You pay a little bit extra for them, but totally worth it for me. Straighten good, curl good. They don't shed like some hair extension companies. You probably know the companies I'm talking about that totally shed all the time, which is super annoying. So these are the best quality hair extensions that I've personally ever used and I'm so happy I purchased them. If you're wanting to get some hair extensions, definitely look into Luxie. When I asked you guys which ones were the best on the market, you guys told me Luxie. So thank you so much for your recommendation and thank you to Holly for helping me pick out this color because they are a perfect match. Now onto my random stuff and then my book to finish off the video. So let's start off here. I kept seeing everyone talk about this hot sauce. I was watching Madison Sarah, Jaclyn Hill, like honestly everyone I watched was talking about this hot sauce. So it is the brand Truff and it's a white truffle infused hot sauce. It's exactly what you would think it is. If you like truffle, if you like hot sauce, you will love this. It is so delicious. It is super expensive though. Like really, I paid this much for a hot sauce, but it is a treat to use. I cannot wait to have this. I'm literally salivating right now thinking about having this hot sauce. It is that good. I am so obsessed with truffle. I make the best truffle pasta you've ever had in your life. So good. And heat mixed with truffle for me personally is just over the top delicious. So had to mention that as a random thing. I got it on Amazon. Another thing I got on Amazon, which I mentioned in my Amazon favorites, which I will link above for you guys if you have not checked that out. This is just a light for taking photos, my family photos, photos for Instagram, YouTube, whatever I'm taking a photo for. This light has really changed the game for me. You can see colors so much better for makeup. If you're doing TikTok, Instagram photos, family photos like me, like any of those things, this true to color, really brightens up a space. It is honestly amazing, it goes so bright. I'll put it on right now, but probably blind you. You gotta be careful with this thing because it is so bright, like brighter than my other lights too. Like you're going bright with this. You can adjust the brightness, you can change the tone of it so it can be more cool or warm. It really is a really handy light and it screws onto my tripod too, which I absolutely love. If you are a makeup artist looking for a good selfie light, whatever you're looking for a light for, that is the one you want. It is so, so good. And then a pillow I wanted to mention. I'm gonna show the one that I don't actually use because it's not full of silk tan. My other one's white. This is a cervical neck pillow. You can also use it for your low back. So if I'm in the car, lean on it. I honestly should be using this for filming too. Okay, so this one's officially my filming pillow. Why haven't I used this one here? These pillows I specifically usually use for my neck when I sleep. This one's a little bit larger compared to my white one. This one fits my neck perfectly. I'm gonna show you this end that doesn't look full of self tanner, but this is the one I actually use for sleep. I will link it down below the specific one that I use, but honestly, I cannot sleep without a neck pillow now. I know some people don't like these. I'm the type of person who's always had neck issues, waking up with a stiff neck. I could look too quickly to one side and there goes my neck, like, yeah. <laughs> Worse than my back, honestly. I don't know why I'm telling you all my problems, but if you've ever had neck pain, you know, and I have not had one neck issue since sleeping with a cervical pillow. I love how it just conforms to my neck. I can go to the side, sleep on my back, whatever. It's just always in my neck curve supporting me. So it's the best thing ever. I also don't like anything touching my neck. So it feels like a safety thing for my neck at night. I don't know. I'm really weird about my neck, but anyways, I love that pillow. So that's probably the most random thing that I'm going to mention in this video. And then moving on to my book, my friend actually wrote this book and published and is selling it on Amazon. I haven't quite finished it yet, but that is my goal. I'm halfway through and I wanted to mention it. So you can get this on Amazon Canada. It is Seeing Through Doors by L. Renee. And this is such an amazing book and wanted to say congratulations on your debut novel. I cannot get enough of this. And honestly, even if it wasn't my friend who wrote this, I would still love this book. So if you're looking for a good book to pick up, this got me out of my reading rut, honestly. Pick up Seeing Through Doors. It is incredible and honestly got me out of my reading rut because I hadn't been able to read because of how bad my back pain had been the past couple months, but 
so so that good. is everything for my may favorites short and sweet i hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot of great things that i have been loving i'm looking at that hot sauce right now because it's lunch time for me <laughs> i'm not gonna lie so many things i've just been really enjoying this month and so happy to be back to reading and nothing was a fail this month, which is always a good time as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any favorites yourself, beauty books, lifestyle, you know to leave them in the comment section below so I can check them out. You guys give me the best recommendations. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me. If you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to do so by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.